Hey, welcome back. This is video number three, and we're going to talk about creating content. So now that you have an attack plan, a direction to go towards, now we can begin to use that attack plan and apply it to the content that you'll be creating. Now, what I want to do is give you some sort of structure for your content. So if you chose your product, then listen carefully. This is kind of a structure, you can change it around a little bit, but as long as you adhere to the structure, you can always change the content, the, the specific way of writing the content, but you typically want to start with a problem question, something to engage with them, something to provoke their thought. Always start with a question. You can start with a question, you can elaborate further, and then ask more questions as long as they relate specifically to the main original question. And then you want to provide a partial solution. You don't want to provide the whole solution. The whole solution will be them actually buying your product. And then, of course, you want to get your hyperlinks and your hyperlink is going to link to your actual product, your website, your list building, your squeeze page, your landing page, whatever that might be at the end of the goal. But the whole goal here is to lead up to that point where they're going to want to click on it because they have an idea of what you're all about and what your product or service is all about. But up until that point, you do want to provide good, valuable, trustworthy information. Now, there are different types of content that you can create, and I'm going to show you in just a minute how to get access to that content, how to know if that content is proven to be like highly engaged content, and you'll see how easy it's going to be. All right. Now, if you chose the affiliate route in the previous video, then it's going to be slightly different because you're selling somebody else's product. You're not really selling your own product. Now, what I find with product and affiliate marketing is they both start out with problem questions, some sort of question that engages the audience. And then, of course, like I said earlier, you can ask other questions along the way. And then, of course, we have problem question, partial resolution. And then you can ask questions and then provide content and your content PDF file can be long. It can be short. In fact, it depends on what it is, but sometimes the shorter, the more straightforward it is, the better. If people can get the content, the resolution, the partial resolution that they need, then of course they are willing to look at the product. Now, as an affiliate, you could send them directly to your affiliate link. That's fine. So you could kind of take the angle of your product up here. But to get better high conversions, what you might want to do is you might want to do problem question, partial resolution being a product itself, and then maybe a hyperlink to the review and bonus of the product. So a review of the product. So could you could be linking them to the review. You could be linking them to a comparison chart. And then at the end of that landing page, so this is the landing page itself. You direct them to the landing page. It provides a review. And maybe at the very end, provide some sort of valuable bonus. Whereas if they buy through your affiliate link, then you can get commission. So they have more incentive to buy through your affiliate link. Now, I will say off the bat, if you are promoting any type of niches aside from business or internet marketing or even technology, something that is a general niche like dogs, organic foods, stuff like that, typically you may not really need the bonus right here. Your, the bonus here is just giving people an incentive to buy. And this would help if you are in the online business, internet marketing niche. If you are not, then I wouldn't really worry about that too much. 
you can always test it out and see if it works. But the bonus is there to give an incentive for people to buy through your affiliate link rather than buying through somebody else's affiliate link. Now, if you are a general niche, then like I said, you can do problem question, partial resolution, and you can even do this model here. But instead of directing them just to the review and bonus, you're directing them to just the review. And then at the review, you can review the product, you can compare it with other products to help them make a better decision. Now, with that said, let me jump on over back to Facebook ads, audience insights, and we're going to dig out some angles, questions that you can put into your content. All right. So see you there. So finding content angles, questions, highly engaged questions is actually very easy to do as long as you figure out your demographics. If you don't know your demographics and obviously trying to figure out what content to create is going to be actually very, very hard to do. So now that you know the process up until this point and why I am teaching it this way, what we want to do is we want to go back to where we left off earlier, which is at facebook.com slash ads slash audience dash insights. And as you can see in the previous video, I did a search for dogster right here. And earlier we found that 95% of women, 5% men. Now, what's nice about facebook.com is you can actually click over here. So if I wanted to hone in specifically on age bracket 55 to 64, I just click it and it'll isolate it and it'll allow me to see a better picture of just that age bracket, right? So I can see that age bracket, their lifestyle, and I could easily go to pages that are related to this lifestyle. I can see the majority of them are married, education level, and job title. So we can see it looks about the majority. If we, we can also sort this, so we'll sort this by greater down, we can see that they are mainly administrative, perhaps secretaries, management, healthcare and medical, sales, personal care, production, business, and financial operations. So a lot of women that have pretty high paying jobs, maybe. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're selling and how that correlates with maybe their spending habits, their purchase habits, which Facebook ads also shows over here. Now we're specifically interested in content. So if you click on page likes, you can get an idea of the top categories or the top pages that they are in interested in. So we can see right off the bat, because we are searching for dogs, we can see they are very interested in Dr. Marty Becker, Caesar Milan. So if you don't know these people, these are highly celebrities as far as dogs go. Causes, I'm against animal abuse, community, dog bless you, which is interesting. So a lot of dogs, you see that? Animal Rescue, Corpse, I Love Dogs, Life with Dogs, Family Pet. So a lot of dog related things, right? So even retail and consumer merchandise, you can see what they're buying. So if we just go ahead and go to these pages, I'm just going to open them up in new tabs. So what I'm doing here is I'm clicking with my mouse, the scroll button. And what is that is doing is it's just opening up new tabs up at the top. So I'm going to leave it like that. Let's just take a look at Caesar Milan. So we can see he's a public figure and he is well known in the dog training area. So anything related to dog, anything related to helping your dog, he is on top of that area. So what we want to do is we just want to look at the content that he has posted up. So what do you do if your dog is stung by a bee? Now you also want to ask yourself the question, does this directly relate to my product? Because it doesn't directly relate. So if, if you were to 
look at a content piece like this. Would you gradually and naturally be interested in buying a product or buying your product? That's the question that you should ask. Now, if you look through here, we can see that this piece of content got 9,000 likes, 800 shares, but we know Caesar is, is, he's already huge. So we know most of his content is gonna be highly engaged. And you know the content that he puts up is most likely going to get a lot of engagement. So big companies like this, you can easily take a look at and get some competitive intelligence. So we look down here, we can see that just the smiley face of a dog gets a lot more likes and shares. So we can tell off the bat that this particular audience is very highly emotional and gets really excited about dogs and everything like that. So th that's what you're trying to figure out is within the niche itself, what gets them excited, what gets them really angry, what gets them highly engaged. Now, if we go through here, we see most of these seem to be images, but we have ear cleaning here. So routine cleaning. So if you were, let's say, for example, to create a piece of content on cleaning, you might want to hone in first on the problems that dogs have in relation to dog cleaning. So in this case, if you were to read this, you can see routine ear cleaning is a great way to prevent and detect potential ear issues. So you could hone in on maybe a variety of different potential ear issues that dogs have. And then from that point, you can then talk about a partial resolution. So you can bullet point, talk about potential ear issues, maybe common routes that people take and why maybe those common routes may not be as effective and then you can lead them on to your product or affiliate review. So that's why we're going through here is just getting ideas about what our audience likes and dislikes. Now that we've looked through here, we can also look through here as well. So I'm against animal abuse. So most of this will probably be about animal abuse, but if we're interested in creating content on other areas just go through here look at them you can what's nice about facebook is it also allows you to like and when you click on like here as you can see you can like you can love you can laugh you can say wow you can sad or angry now this allows you to see what people are feeling right so it's not just a like button anymore. There's a lot more information and gives it away. So now you can see not just how engaged people are as far as their comments goes, as far as their shares go, but you can also how, see how they feel. So like I said, it doesn't matter if this is a product attack or an affiliate plan of attack. It doesn't matter. Really what you're trying to do right now is simply find the pages that they like and get the information. So you can see page likes here as well. So you can see more pages. So you should have tons and tons of different angles of content that you could potentially create. Now you can also see location, but we're not too interested in that as of now. You can see activity, which is also nice because it shows you how engaged they are as far as pages liked, comments, posts, post shared, and ads clicked. So ads clicked is a good thing because if you want to expand this later on, you can see that this specific audience is highly engaged as far as ads go. And what does that tell you? If they, they're willing to click on an ad, they're most likely willing to be interested in purchasing. Now you can see device users. We can see iPads, which I'll tell you right off the bat, if somebody has an iPad or an some sort of device like that, that means that that audience typically has some form of disposable income and they're willing to spend money on extra devices or items. 
Now we can click on household and that gives you an idea of how much they earn, if they how many homes they earn, how big is their household size and home market value, and of course, what does their spending methods look like? And of course, if you click on purchase, this gives us an idea of retail spending, which is a good idea. And say, for example, you were to go into a niche and you find that the retail spending or online purchases is very, very low. And that might be fine because that might be meaning that offline retail is high. And that might tell you certain purchases might be lower online versus certain purchases on offline are higher. But that also gives you an idea of the direction even your business could take. So we can see here purchase behavior. What do they purchase? They purchase pet products, home and garden, sports and outdoors, household products. So if you say, for example, you build a list of these consumers, what other products could you potentially sell? That is what this graph is telling you. What other products can you sell? So hopefully this gives you a good idea of different content pieces that you could create as long as you understand that what you might want to do is either start with statistics, start with a question, and look at the content and turn it into a question as long as it's a problem question. So like I showed you earlier with the ear infections, you generally speaking want to start out with a question that provokes thoughts in relation to a problem. What kind of problems does your dog's ear have? You know, different ear infections so that you can relate to different people as far as ear infections go. Now, if your product is about dog training and it's not really related to ear infections at all, then obviously in that case, you don't want to take that content angle. So at the end of the day, you want to make sure that it follows a path from the point of the problem question actually relating to your product or service or the affiliate review. So keep that in mind. As long as you understand that everything flows correctly, you'll be able to create a high converting content piece. Now, another question that a lot of people ask is how long or how many words should I write? That really doesn't matter as much. You can take a look at the content pieces that are on the Facebook pages, see how long those content pieces are. If they're really super long, that might be a big indicator that that particular niche likes long content. If it's fairly short, you might want to keep it short, maybe an article page long. So that's a good indication as long as you take a look at several pages and you see a repeating pattern. With that said, let's move on to video number four.